Hey everyone, um, so I already did this video last night, but um, I was using my digital camera that I just bought. Um, it wasn't a very expensive one, and you can really tell by the quality of audio and video. It was supposed to be high definition, but it didn't look like it, and it didn't sound like it, so... Um, I'm redoing it on this uh, webcam that I've had for a while, and it's um, always worked out pretty well for me. So, um, yeah, basically, if you didn't if you didn't see the video that I did last night, um, I was going through my medicine cabinet, and it was really messy, and I noticed that there were a lot of uh, just random things in there that I don't ever really use too often. So as I was cleaning out, um, I decided, you know, might as well just do a video since I don't really have that many great ideas. So, and I haven't done this type of video thing yet, really. So um, the first thing I have here, and um, also... Don't make fun of my pink pajamas. <laughs> um, uh, Tylenol cold and flu. Um, I got sick about a month ago. And I didn't know what to buy. Usually I just get like a generic brand of something. But um, I decided to try this. Because um, I was really feeling like crap last time so I really wanted to try something um, different so I tried this it says it has some sort of warming action I didn't notice that but um, I I guess it worked okay and then I got um, like this one to go along with it for nighttime which I I um, definitely got knocked out right away after taking this um, but yeah it looks like I took quite a bit of both of these the last time I got sick um, I don't know I think usually I, I try not to resort to using this type of medicine though when I'm sick so, um, usually what I do is I take um, echinacea, and I don't take echinacea on a daily basis, because um, I find that if I don't, then when I actually do get sick, um, I can just take these, and it usually really shortens um, the time that I'm actually sick, so... If I start to feel sick, um, I'll just take a few of these um, throughout the day and maybe drink like some orange juice or keep myself hydrated and then usually it just passes. So I really like these. I think I just got these from the 99 cent store, dollar store. There's only 30 in here, but you can get like a big bottle of them. I really like these. Um, Let's see what next. Okay. Um, last time, um, I think that I got these at Target. Um, it's, it's just a generic brand, but I was, uh, my boyfriend and I were thinking of getting those um, Flintstone chewable, the children's one. Um, but they didn't have them or we couldn't find them so we just got these ones i think they're like little monkeys or something um i like the grape ones but um yeah they're they're almost gone already i feel like we we just got them not too long ago but they're already almost gone look i got a grape um can't, uh, I think it's a bear actually. But, um, 
Uh, they're pretty tasty. I'm not sure if you're supposed to take them as an adult or if you just take a higher dosage. I don't know. I didn't even read the label. It says take one tablet four years. <clears throat> Excuse me. One tablet four years of age or older. So I guess I'm fine. Okay. So there's those. Um, another store that I like um, a lot is Trader Joe's. This doesn't really focus, but this is from Trader Joe's. Um, it's a vitamin B12. And this one says to um, take one tablet dissolved under your tongue. So um, there's little tiny things. Um, I'm not quite sure what B12 is for. On um, Wikipedia, it says um, key role in normal functioning of the brain and nervous system, and for the formation of blood. Which, now that I think of it, um, I think on True Blood or one of those shows vampire shows, they would have someone taking a lot of this B12 to have them create more blood so they could harvest it from them or something. But, um, anyways, um, this looks like it's the same box as that Echinacea, but I think, yeah, I got this from 99 cent store as well. I like, um, going through the medicine aisle of the dollar stores because they have some really weird random stuff sometimes but um, this is Kava Kava um, it's like a sleep aid muscle relaxant um, I haven't really seen much of um, any results from using these but uh, maybe some of you have tried it. Um, I don't know. I, I'm sure we all have trouble sleeping though, so I've tried a lot of different things. So there's that. Another thing I found at the dollar store last time was this total cleanse. Look at that lady, she looks so happy. She is completely cleansed and has a lot more energy now. So I saw that and I just had to try it. Um, I won't go ahead and explain what happens when you do a cleanse because it's kind of gross. <laughs> but, um, that that's what you're gonna look like after though you're gonna look like her so and this is only 99 cents for a 14 day program i don't think i need to lose weight or anything but it's always good to cleanse every once in a while <laughs> um i got this from the dollar store too gas relief i have never um found these type of products to actually work, but they kind of taste good. It tastes like mint. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail about that one. These are muscle relaxers. I'm not quite sure what they are, but my mom gave them to me because, um, a few months ago, I uh, cracked my neck and something weird happened. Like my entire back went out, my neck hurt, I could hardly move. So my mom gave me these muscle relaxers. Now, I don't recommend um, to any of you to take prescription drugs unless you have been prescribed them, but 
Um, I don't have medical coverage, so I kind of had to. I didn't have much of a choice, so. But they didn't really work for me. Not as well as um, muscle relaxers I've taken in the past. So I'm not sure if they're weaker or what. Um, okay. Now these um, are eye drops. My boyfriend told me about this particular brand because I had really sore eyes one day and I asked for some Visine and he said, well, we don't have, I don't have any Visine, but I have um, this Refresh brand. And so I was like, okay, well, so I pulled it out and here's what it looks like. It's like a little tube and you twist the top off of it. Um, but the thing is with those, um, they're very thick, like when they get in your eyes, it takes probably about like 10 to 15 minutes before your eyes actually clear out. It's like almost like you have blurred vision or I kind of got worried at first because my eyes would not, um, clear out, but it does take a little while. They're really thick and like gel, um. But they do work really well, so now I use these um, quite often when my eyes are irritated, and they're almost gone now, so I'm not sure where he got these from, but um, hopefully he remembers, because I would like to get some more of these. But they work really well. This is fiber. Um, it's good to have a lot of fiber in your diet. If you don't get it from your from your meals every day, then you can take a supplement like this. These they make a big wafer type of thing. Um, they're tasty, kind of tastes like candy. Um, I don't know if I want to chew on one right now because, well, I guess I will. They're very big. Um, um, they're tasty, but it takes quite a while to actually swallow it. They're so big. But, um, that's my bed. Oh, God, see, I can't swallow it now. These are just like a generic um, acetaminophen. Um, you have to put a warning on these now um, because I think they found that they can damage your liver, which I think I used to buy these because they weren't as bad as aspirin I want to say I don't know as far as the liver thing but now they found um, these are bad too so if you drink a lot um, just be careful with taking a lot of these and the last thing this is a nicotine patch I know I've made a video in the past where I was trying to quit smoking. That was quite a while ago. Um, but that did not work out. So this time when I'm, I uh, quit smoking on New Year's. So instead of just trying to quit cold turkey, I've been using these patches. And I found that it's really helped out a lot. So it's been a few months now, and I've had some struggles. Uh, the hardest thing is being around other people who smoke. So I do go out to bars and things like that. So 
when I see my friends smoking, I have um, on the weekends smoked a few times, which is bad. Um, especially when you're wearing these patches because you're not supposed to. Uh, but other than that, um, I'd say it was only a few times that I uh, was bad. Um, this has really helped out, so I'm hoping that I can kick the habit for good. I also have the gum, gum too, but the gum, I think that's what I tried last time, just the gum, and it didn't work out, so I don't really use the gum. But uh, that will be my video for today, and I hope that this one doesn't cut out like the last one. And I hope that you liked it, so let me know what you think, and maybe I can do some other videos like this in the future. And if you want to know where I got my pajamas at, I will never tell you because I want to be the only one. <laughs> Bye.